Hello, welcome to the Kidney Kitchen. We're going to be doing a stroganoff today. Uh, most people associate stroganoff with some nice beef or some pork, but today we're doing a vegetarian version. We're doing a courgette and chestnut mushroom stroganoff. Really quite hearty dish, relatively cheap ingredients as well. Really quick and simple to make. Um, so if you're coming home late from work, really quick, 10 minutes to do. But uh, we've done a bit of chopping already. I've chopped all your veg first, get it all ready, and then we're going to get it all in the frying pan. Let's go. Okay, so let's start frying our vegetables. Got a good size frying pan, a little splash of olive oil, just a couple of teaspoons of olive oil. And then we'll start, we've got a finely chopped onion and a clove of garlic in there. So slowly softening my onions. I've already got a pan of water on there for my rice. We're going to serve our stroganoff with uh, classic basmati rice, which is always great with uh, meat and vegetarian stroganoffs. Okay, just to give this a little bit of a bit of flavour, we're going to add a, a couple of teaspoons of paprika. Obviously, if you don't like it too too hot, just add one teaspoon. So there you go, onions nice and soft, giving off a lovely smoky paprika flavour now. Just my courgettes, a couple of nice big courgettes, nicely finely diced, sort of bite-sized pieces. And they'll take a, a good couple of minutes to soften as well. So there we go, courgettes got a couple of minutes. Again, no colour to them, just really want to soften them. And now I'm time to add my chestnut mushrooms. Really good flavour chestnut mushrooms. You can obviously use button mushrooms or flat mushrooms if you wanted to, but uh, I find these have got a little bit extra flavour to them. Once again, give them a good old stir round. They're going to take about five minutes now with your mushrooms. Lovely. So I can see they're nice and soft now. I'll just turn my gas down just a little bit. And now I'm going to add the, which is going to be my sauce, which I've got a couple of hundred mils of your low salt vegetable stock cube. Once again, we'll let that cook out now for about five minutes, just so it all softens up nicely and the stock will reduce a little bit. Great, so say five minutes for our stroganoff. We're going to cook our rice while that's cooking. I've got a good big pan of boiling water there and in goes our basmati rice. About 10 to 12 minutes on the cooking of the rice. Keep it moving, give it a good stir once you put it in. Hopefully the two will be ready together. Okay, so about halfway through my cooking in my rice. In the meantime, the stroganoff is almost ready. So I'm going to take that off the heat and let it cool. And then while it's, after it's cooled, we're going to add our low-fat creme fraiche. And that'll be our finish to the, to the sauce. That'll bring it all together. So we'll take this off now and let it cool down. Okay, so my stroganoff's had a good five minutes just to cool down a little bit before I add my creme fraiche. I've cooked my rice and drained my rice, which is ready. So let's add some of that low-fat creme fraiche. Give that a good stir in. And that's created a lovely, nice thick sauce there, as you can see. Wonderful. Good four portions there as well, look. So just one last thing to do, I'm going to chop a little bit of flat leaf parsley. Just a bit of a garnish for the top. And you can see the sauce there. You let it cool down before you add your creme fraiche, because then it won't, uh, if it's too hot, it has a habit to split out and all your creme fraiche will be a bit of a mess in your sauce. You don't want that. So you can see there, it's all nice and thick and ready to plate up. There we go, and then a nice spoonful of our, of our stroganoff on top. A couple of spoons per portion, a little bit of sauce. There 
and just a bit of a chefy garnish, a little bit of parsley on top of that. So there we have it, our lovely warming bowl of chestnut mushroom and courgette stroganoff. Now I've just got to ask Laura now, who's our dietitian keeping an eye on me today, to come in and try the dish. Hello Laura. Hi yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Fantastic. Mushroom it's stroganoff lovely. always always worries me a little bit when we use mushrooms because I know they're quite high in potassium, but yeah. spread out yeah. in the portions is quite good. Yeah, so I was gonna say I think you know, mushrooms are traditionally people avoid it if they're on a low potassium yeah. diet. But in this dish, we haven't got anything else that's high in potassium. So we haven't got potato, we haven't got tomato. So we've, we've got the kind of um, ability to add a few mushrooms, get that lovely flavour from it without having to worry too much about the overall potassium content being too high. Absolutely, so, you better try it. So yeah, something different for people to, to have. Vegetarian friendly as well. Yeah, yeah, no, brilliant. And quite easy to make vegan as well, I suppose, if you use like an oat creme fraiche or a yeah, yeah, soy yeah. cream or something. Absolutely. Mm. Nice flavours. Do you serve anything else with it? Different rice, or brown rice or pasta or something? Mm. Uh, yeah. I think that would be really nice, sort of a nice healthy option is to have a nice um, like brown basmati or pasta if people Perfect. prefer it. Yeah, I could easily do that. It'd make a nice sauce, wouldn't it? If you had some leftover, you could use it as a sauce with, Absolutely. with pasta. Mm. Result. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you yeah. for trying it. Well, thank you for making Great. it. <laughs>